Run 500 instances of the protein test task with distinct samples. One hour after commencement, withdraw all remaining instances and initiate the next task. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the complete multiple instance activity pattern. Within a given process instance, multiple instances of a task can be created. The required number of instances is known at design time. These instances are independent of each other and run concurrently. It is necessary to synchronize the instances at completion before any subsequent tasks can be triggered. During the course of execution, it is possible that the task needs to be forcibly completed such that any remaining instances are withdrawn and the thread of control is passed to the subsequent tasks. You can see the behavior in the original Flash animation. So we start here and we have A, B, and then we have the multiple instance tasks. We can enter a number here, so let's say 2, and we complete these two instances and then we go to D. Another possibility is that after A and B, we have the multi-instance task, and let's say we have three now, and we can complete here, but then we can complete up here from outside of the multiple instance task, and then we continue to D. In BPMN, we can model this with a boundary interrupting event. In this example, we choose a timer boundary event. Here we have two tasks. This is the multi-instance task run protein test and then we have write test report. And at run protein test we have an interrupting boundary event, a timer event in this case. And um, if we do the token simulation, it goes straight through to write test report. But if we are not finished with our multi-instance task here, um, after one hour, then we also go out here and go to write test report. The workflow patterns book says that BPMN supports this pattern with a completion condition. This is another way of handling it. In Camunda we can open the implementation view of the process and there we can define this completion condition for the multi-instance task. This condition is then evaluated after each work item that completes and if it evaluates to true we cancel the remaining work items of the multi-instance task and continue. This condition is not represented in the graphical model of the process. So it's more about automation than modeling. Thank you for watching.